Good evening, folks. Uh, it's 7.30. We get together here on Wednesday evenings and talk about the early days of single side band. My name's Lynn. I'm K5LYN. I'm in Austin. And uh, we've got uh, a few net controls that are going to take check-ins. So if you're out there and you're not hearing me well, just be patient. Somebody will come in that you'll hear. And I will probably do a second radio uh, in a little bit. Uh, right now I'm on a radio called Cheap and Easy SSB. It was built by KG7TR from 1956 QST. So this is a homebrew transmitter built in modern times. And uh, then uh, Mike decided it might need a companion receiver, so he sat down and built a homebrew receiver to go with it. Fancy with a mechanical filter and a digital readout. And I always have a lot of fun with this station. I'm using it to drive an old Johnson Viking Courier. So uh, let me talk to some people that are here, and we'll go from there. And while we're talking, if you've got technical questions about a radio you're working on, this is a great place to ask for some advice. And uh, certainly we want to hear about your station, and uh, we'll go from there. So let me talk to my local area here first, and then we'll go from there. Let's see if KF5YMF. Barry, you still over there somewhere? K5LYN. Yeah, I'm here, uh, Lynn. Uh, how does it sound okay? Sound like a million bucks. Oh, thanks, Cap 5 YMF. Uh, on my, my favorite radio, my Spawn 500C, and uh, I guess my antenna's still working. And, uh, yeah, sure, 444 mic. And you guys sound good this evening. Uh, must have a good band. I think it's real good. Yeah, not noisy. Not I'm not hearing all the Austin uh, noise and no static crashes, so we're in great shape. Any new projects on your end, Barry? Oh, nothing. Uh, well, we've got to get an antenna pole over here and get a, get an antenna up and... Uh, Oh, by the way, just ordered a couple of uh, kerosene heaters for backup heat. Don't know who was in the big the big freeze camp out last year, but uh, anyway, good time to order. And uh, thank got stuff from Lowe's cheaper, about a hundred bucks cheaper than Amazon. So Amazon's not all that. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, back to radio, back to net. Yep, I've got uh, generators and propane tanks we're stocking up on, and we're going to get together about a water tank one of these days. Be in touch, Barry. All right, let's see if Brian's over there. Hey, KF5CCN. How about it, Brian? K5LYN. I am here, KF5CCN. I'll copy over. Perfectly good signal. You've really done some nice work on that station. Thank you very much. Uh, good day tonight. I can hear everyone real well. And uh, uh, it's got here with uh, Matt's uh, recording. Yeah, we will uh, look for it in the morning. Any new projects on your end, Brian? I've got my headphones tangled around my neck. Well, don't pull it too tight. Uh, we'll miss you at uh, lunch one of these days. <laughs> well, yeah, you would have to pop me up like a uh, weekend at Bernie's over. Understood. <laughs> All right, anything else on your end this evening, Brian? Turning your right spot into a heat kit, the L1, and I, I did a bunch of search last night for the processor for the uh, heat kit DX60. And I think uh, since the antenna system is working good, I think next week, I think we will re, if there's such a word, re date the DX60. How's that sound? Well, it's been so long since I put my DX60 on, I'll have to get out the book and study up on it. But, yeah, we'll get together on that. Well, that sounds good. Well, thanks for having me. We'll sit back and listen to the rest of the next 7301 KF5 Back to you, Lynn. Okay, well done. George, TXW, talk to us. Hello to K5LYN and all around the net from WB5TXW for the best hour of amateur radio for the week. Support Anchor Net. I'm on the S line stuff. What else? 32S175S3 is power supply speaker box. Sure, 444, the 75 meter dipole inverted V, whatever it is, out through the trees. And it's nice to hear real radios on my radio, over. Yeah, and it sounds great. You know, we did some funny work on your station when it burned out those uh, resistors and the power supply. But we must have got it right, because it has hung in there and done a nice job. Sounds great. Uh, give it time. I don't know. Uh, I got a plan for the 30L1. It's coming up. I'll tell you about it. Anyway, let you get back to the net. 
Okay, let's get into uh, Central Electronics territory. What do you think, Tom? KC5L, talk to us. Hey, good evening, Lynn, and uh, Bone Acres Nest. Uh, this is Tom, KC5L in San Antonio. And uh, tonight, uh, yes, we're on the uh, talking on the Central Electronics uh, 200B uh, with a D104 microphone. And it's driving a Central Electronics 600L uh, with a single A13 doing about 300 watts into a Johnson KW matchbox and a homebrew uh, doublet up about uh, 15 feet. And we're listening on the R390A. And uh, that's about all I have here uh, this evening, Lynn. Uh, great signals all around, and your uh, cheap and easy has that usual great audio. Uh, thank you, Lynn, KC5L. Okay, Tom, we're hoping to uh, get over to the New Orleans area uh, in October and uh, meet recurrent return with a 600L also, but with the weather they've got and so on, it's kind of iffy, you know. We haven't had a final word from Nick yet as to what the deal is, but we're listening. But I hope to join you. And before the evening's out tonight, I'm going to get over on my 28, so I will catch up with you. All right, Tom, beautiful signal. Let's see here. What do I got here next on the list? How about KWZ? What do you say, Dan? K5LYN. Yeah, good evening, Len. Surprised me there. I didn't think I'd come up that quick. Uh, this is Dan, KWZ, downtown Houston. Still running the same old uh, Kenwood uh, TS530 SP, driving a homebrew 3813s, an old clunker, just like me, and putting out about uh, 1,100 watts or so. The antenna is an uh, inverted V in an L configuration because in the corner of the property, about 42 feet high, and the microphone's at 444D. I just got my 40 meter antenna up that uh, that hurricane, whatever it was called. Uh, it just, believe it or not, the K. I had two cables, uh, uh, steel braided cables, snap in half, and I've never had that happen before. They weren't rusty or anything else. One on the guy wire to the uh, my 42 foot pole. One of the upper guys snapped, and uh, one on the. Uh, the cable that I used to hoist my 40 meter antenna with, so I had to take the pole down to put a new cable up there on that one. Anyway, that's it from here. Just working on the. I got two uh, Tentec Titan amplifiers the guy gave me to resurrect, or just gave me. I'm going to try and resurrect them into some form of a usable amplifier rather than all that complicated stuff. So those are going to be my projects for a while. That's it from here. Thanks, Lynn. KWOZ. Hey, Dan, I do have a question about that 813 amplifier. I always like it a lot. Is it in a case, or is it open so you could uh, take me a picture of it? Oh, it's open. Uh, I've been thinking of putting a covering on it, but I haven't yet. Yeah, I'll send you a picture. It's, you know, it's typical, what I could, it's not first-class homebrew. Uh, there were two holes in this uh, chassis, and I added a third hole, mounted a fan behind it, and uh, all the other stuff. But it works pretty good. Yeah, it does. Yeah, and uh, I don't need anything fancy, but uh, it'd be nice to take a look at it. And I wasn't expecting a work of art. If I was, I'd be talking on a cheap and easy SSV, right? So we'll we'll look forward to it, Dan. Good to hear you. Beautiful signal in Dawson. WW9W. Hey, Robert, you still over there somewhere? K5LYN. Oh, yeah, K5LYN. Good evening to you, Lynn. All of the boat anchors sounding good. Good propagation this evening. Uh, I'm on the uh, Collins uh, KWM2. With the uh, 30L1, I think this is a Shure 450. I thought it was a 440, but it's a Shure 450 microphone. Oh, it looks like about uh, 600 watts. Yeah, about 600 watts or so. That's about it on this end, man. Don't have much going on. Looking forward to Belton. Man, it's been a long time coming, so I hope to see you guys down there. Yeah, I sent the guys at dual prizes yesterday. So, man, they got some nice ones. Anyway, take care. You guys stay safe, and we'll look for you next time. K5LYN, WW9W. I'll see you later. Okay, looking forward to it. I will be there. And you got a great signal in Dawson. KE5Q. Uh, hey, Jim, bring us up to date. K5LYN. Yeah, K5LYN. Uh, and the net, this is KE5Q. Plano, and uh, good evening to everybody, and uh, the band really sounds uh, sounds good, uh, copying everybody uh, 
Lima Charlie. And uh, uh, tonight I'm on the uh, KWM2, just like Robert, uh, but I'm not driving the 3001. I don't even have it turned on. I'm going into the uh, L4B, and that's going into the Ultimax 8040, and I'm using the Shure 444. And that's, uh, that's what we've got here tonight, K5LYN, KE5Q. See you in Belgium. Absolutely, looking forward to it. Uh, sure have missed our get-togethers up there. Okay, I guess the last person I've got on my list here uh, is Byron, so I'll talk to Byron, then we'll give it down there to Jay, and maybe we'll hear if Rusty's popped in here. Uh, EDX, talk to us, K5LYN. Yeah, Lynn, uh, good evening, and good evening to everybody. Uh, uh, tonight we're on uh, probably my favorite uh, classic Boat anchor of all time, the Kenwood 820S, uh, running it barefoot. Uh, but it's only slightly favored over all the other Kenwood hybrids, high high. So, uh, of course, I have to drive it with an MC50 mic uh, straight up into the old inverted V up by 35 feet. Uh, that's all I know from sure, for sure here in Bluffdale. Um, Enjoyed a slightly cooler weather uh, week this week. Good to ha not have 100 degree days. And this morning was especially cool for some reason. So I made it over to Granbury and went to the Wednesday ham lunch as usual. Swapped a lot of good lives over there and had a lot of good Mexican food. Had me familia. So that's all I know for sure. I'm glad to hear all of the... Uh, uh, uptick in Belton talk and uh, everybody getting excited about the plans uh, for that. So I guess we're uh, counting down two and a half weeks away or less. Just a little over two weeks for all the early birds. So back to you, Lynn, and I appreciate you uh, getting me uh, that 300 uh, schematic so I can at least start thinking about it and getting serious. And I'm real curious to play with that one too. K5LYN, WA5EDX. Yeah, I'm here, Lynn. Okay, and there's Rusty. All right. Good to know. All right. Uh, we'll, gal we'll get that Galaxy project in the works tomorrow, and I'll be in touch. Okay, uh, I think that's it, isn't it, on my end? KM5KISS, what do you say, Jay? K5LYS. Okay, then. Yeah, and I heard Rusty there, so uh, things are looking good there. And Byron, if you wait uh, two and a half weeks, you're going to miss the ham fest. It, uh, <laughs> it's 14 days until Thursday. So it's it's uh, two weeks and one day. So anyway, of course we're going to be there early. This is JKM5QS. This boat anchors unlimited net on uh, September the fifteenth, two thousand and twenty-one. Most of these rigs are a lot older than that. And I'm on a Kenwood TS820S using a Kenwood R820 for a receiver. Uh, have them tied together in transceive configuration. From there it goes to a TL922 amplifier, Kenwood, um, using an Electro Voice 664A microphone, the antenna tuner, the uh, feed line and the antenna are all homebrew. They're good for 160 meters or wherever I want to go. So, um, with that, let me see who I've got left on the list. Uh, let me start with uh, WB5OZZ. Go ahead, Doc. Maybe Don stepped out. How about N5WJA? <laughs> this is getting to be a pattern. <laughs> All right. Um, then uh, who's next for the Boat Anchors Unlimited? I don't want you to have three strikes. Put me on your list there, Jay. Oscar Whiskey, over. Oh, hello, Scott. KC0OW. Go ahead. Okay. KM5QS in the Boat Anchors Net. KC0 Oscar Whiskey, Scott, up here in the Oklahoma City area. I checked in here a couple weeks ago, and... Uh, I'm on a Kenwood 590 tonight. I have got to confess and uh, take 40 lashes, I guess, here. But uh, I am on a vintage amplifier from probably the mid-70s and Alpha 77. So that's what we're running here. 
And let's see, to give you an update, uh, I talked about uh, this galaxy junk I've got behind me here. Uh, I have since uh, recapped and re-resistored a Galaxy AC35 power supply. So we got that ready to go, and uh, we're going to start testing on that before we uh, smoke things, uh, attempt to smoke things. So that's uh, on the test bench, getting ready for, for testing. We're also in the process of recapping one of the, uh, there's not too many uh, electrolytics in these Galaxy 5s, so I'm just going to go ahead and change them out. I haven't had them on for 20 years, so anyway, we got uh, got some more caps from, uh, from Mauser coming, and uh, hope to, uh, in the near future, check in here on the old Galaxy 5. In the meantime... I have uploaded uh, to the Bama manual site uh, one of my manuals here that I didn't see that was on there. I've got the manual for the, and, and I'm uh, recapping this one too. I finished with this one too. This is a Galaxy G1000 Delta Charlie mobile power supply that runs four transistors. And of course, it's got some of those big old uh, leaky electrolytics in it, so I've cleaned all them out. And uh, anyway, the manual for that is uh, I sent it off to Bama. I don't see it on the website yet, so it should be up there soon. But uh, if you can't wait for it, you absolutely need it. You can drop me an email, and uh, I'm good on QRZ, and I'll get you the Galaxy G1000 DC mobile power supply manual. Anyway, with that, that's enough. Back to you. Thanks a lot, Jay. KC0. And by the way, Jay, I think uh, 20 years or so ago when I last had one of those Galaxies on, I believe I got on 3922 in the mobile with it there, uh, with uh, this power supply, this mobile power supply. Back to you, Jay. KC0 Oscar Whiskey. Well, okay, Scott. Um, Sounds great. Uh, I I wished I could say I remembered that. It's been 20 years ago. I'm do well anyway. Now, anything concerned with my um, beautiful, charming wife, of course I remember every single thing. Other things, not so much. But anyway, no, you sound great tonight, Scott. And glad to good to hear from you. And, and um, that that's good information about that. There's always somebody needing something then uh, Bama's a pretty good place to find it most of the time. And you don't have to go through the hoops and stuff that you do with uh, mods.dk. But anyway, uh, but they're good, too. They're good, too. Thank you, Scott. We'll see you next week. Um, okay. Anyway, who's next for the Boat Anchors Unlimited? Papa Fox Truck. Whiskey Five Delta Lima Papa. <laughs> K zero Sierra Echo Delta. Okay, I got just what was that last one? Kilo Mexico six Tango. Okay, Kilo KM KM six T, is that it? Really? Okay. All righty, let me that's four. We're right in a row. Let me start with Papa Fox Trot. Go ahead, sir. Uh, good evening, Jay and Nanette. This is Phil, Papa Hotel in New Lima. The call sign is November 5, Papa Fox Trot. I'm located near Vicksburg, Mississippi. I'm 11 miles from the Mississippi River near I-20. Uh, I've got four college stations here. I'm on a KWM-2. I've got two KWM-2s and two S-lines. One S-line's in the shop, one KWM-2's in the shop. I ended up with four. Because every time I got one, something would happen, and I'd, so I got another one to replace it while I was in the shop. So I ended up with four. I've been on a buying frenzy now for about two years. Got a Jesus that I started out with, and uh, seems like he's got a power too. Anyway, uh, the uh, power supply driving this kid at M2, uh, I sent it to rescue a while back. I guess it's been nearly a year now. It's been at least six months. Uh, he had a problem, and uh, it was a pretty unique problem. And uh, he finagled around and got this thing working, and it'll put out 130 watts uh, in his KWM2. So it was working really good. Uh, got a uh, heat kit, SP200 I'm driving. I'm putting out a good 600, maybe close to 7. 
Uh, it's all virgin. It's all original. And <laughs> it's an all up sign. It's working really good. Uh, I got some parts to uh, upgrade it. I don't need to upgrade it till it does something bad. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm running with a uh, Ohio mic, a gold line, high impedance mic, and uh, that's about all I got to say. Uh, happy to be here. This is M5PL. Okay, Phil, good deal. Oh, you're sounding great down here in the middle of middle of South Texas, and uh, about oh, S9 to 10 over uh, consistently. We've got a good band tonight, and you're coming through just fine. Sounds great, and that's one thing the wives never seem to understand is they think we just accumulate radios because we just were hoarders. But it's actually so we'll have a spare in case something breaks. That's right, isn't it? Roger, Roger. Uh, she's had some problems with this. She finally settled down, and uh, she loved me by. <laughs> I'm still buying capacitors and things. I got a huge kit power supply I bought just to. Uh, drive these things with in case uh, uh, one of these uh, uh, power supplies fails, and uh, I'm fixing to put some capacitors in it and upgrade it. So I've ordered capacitors and a few other things. they got a bit of a cable for it, but uh, I've been making that instant power supply work, and uh, I'm going to put a transformer in it to get enough uh, uh, 6.3 to uh, drive a cable that them to. Uh, otherwise, it won't quite make it. But anyway, I had fun. This is M5PL. Okay, Phil, good deal. Well, thank you, sir, for checking in. We'll see you next week, hopefully. All right, so uh, Delta Lima Papa, your turn, sir. Full call and uh, name and all that. Roger, Roger. Whiskey 5 Delta Lima Papa. Uh, I'm a friend of Rusty's up here. Uh, I'm actually I'm north of Wills Point uh, today, north of his place. He, he came to spend an hour or so, with, well, about three hours actually with me this afternoon. Thoroughly enjoyed the uh, uh, the visit. I am not on a boat anchor. Uh, I'm on ICOM 7610. I am portable. And uh, um, he helped me put up a in-fit dipole this afternoon, so I've got that on the air. Uh, my boat anchor is at the house in the floor that Rusty just recently fixed, WK-5R. And uh, he's got a couple more rigs that he's working on for me. And sooner or later, I'll have the uh, uh, the boat anchor uh, on the air. I might not have it with me when I'm out camping, but uh, I've been out working parts on the air and, and having having some fun. And I just wanted to check in tonight with the group and say, uh, uh, say 73, and God bless all, and God bless this great country. Uh, this is W5DLP. All right. Well, thank you, sir. Thanks for checking in. It's um, you know, we you don't always have to be on a boat anchor. We 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 don't turn anybody away from the state. They're interested in what we're doing, and I uh, know you are. So uh, good deal. We'll see you next time. All right. Next, I've got K zero S E D. Go ahead, Steve. Well, good evening, Jay, and all the boat anchors. K zero S E D and Tyler. Tonight I'm on the, as, as usual, trust the old Kenwood 520 and a Collins 30L1 to dipole up 40 odd feet. And certain to look forward to Belton a little over two weeks. Back to you, Jay. K0 SED. Okay, Steve. Right at two weeks. Uh, anyway, well, I know this is, uh, you're right, this is Wednesday, so I, I don't know. I get ahead of myself. Actually, well, we get there a day early. That's why. Okay. Thank you, Steve. Uh, see you then, and see you next week, maybe, and see you then next two weeks, whatever. <laughs> All right. This is a new call to me, Kilo Mike 6 Tango. Go ahead, sir. Hey, good evening to you. Now, I've got a boat answer. I have a uh, old, 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 221, complete with 215 meters. And that's my backup radio I amplifier. And then I have an old, I have a Kenwood 120. Uh, it's a little baby, about the size of the 7300. It's one of the very first of the all time 50 i little amplifier radio to get in the car. And uh, that's my backup rig. So uh, whenever my major rig is out, and that's uh, been quite often. 
Uh, the backup rig comes in and the old boat anchor fires up and I'll be darned if it doesn't look like it's like wonderful. Uh, the show is in on a good ripple. It's almost 2,400 watts. Uh, of course, one needn't do that because of the current rules. But back in the old days, we thought that was all kinds of fun, over. Alrighty. Where are you located? Say again. Uh, what, what's your QTH? What, uh, where are you located? I'm oh, sorry, I'm in Fairview. That's about 25, roughly 20, 25 miles north and a little east of downtown Dallas. Oh, okay. All right. Good deal. All right. Well, thank you, sir. Uh, let me see. Um, um, that all sounds pretty good down here. I'm way, way south of you, probably about four, 500 miles. Anyway, uh, I'll try it. Let's, dang it, I lost, tra- lost my train of thought. Jump the tracks, because I missed somebody a while ago, and um, if I can find them, I'll try it again. WB5OZZ, Don, are you back? Nope, guess not. Uh, November 5, Whiskey Juliet Alpha, Jim? Andrew is here in Nebraska. Rusty, could you hear that station out there? I got him, Jay. Oh, go ahead, Mike. Uh, Scott, uh, who's the station in Nebraska? Number zero, Sierra Kilowatt, Southeast Corner, Nebraska, and then Steve. Okay, we got November zero, Sierra Kilowatt in uh, Nebraska. Name is Steve there, Jay, checking in, over. Okay, well, I'll uh, tell him to go ahead. Go ahead, Steve, KC0W, good evening. Oklahoma City area. Did you get that, Jay? I got most of it. Um, I'm, I've got a copy on him at about seven ish units, so uh, mostly. And it's pretty solid. It's in and in and out, but uh, it, it's it's pretty good for the distance to get it. He's at. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, it's his first time checking in. Uh, his name is Steve. He's uh, just north of the Kansas border, southeast Nebraska. First time checking in and. Uh, he uh, just uh, wanted to send season of cranes, I believe, there. But uh, he dropped out on me just a little bit there when it, when he made the comment that he thought he lost his amplifier. I think he did lose it there, but uh, temporarily only. So back to you there, Jay. Casey's your OW. Okay, Scott. Well, thanks a lot. And uh, Steve up there, if you're copying me, uh, you're welcome back here any time. I'm glad to hear you. And, and uh, a lot of times, Rusty, he's in North Texas, and... Uh, a lot of times he'll pick a bunch of y'all up from up that direction too. So uh, next time, if it's uh, if not any better than tonight, um, he may get another shot. But you're welcome to come on back anytime. So thank you, Steve, and thank you, Scott. Appreciate it. Uh, I've had a run here for a little bit. So Rusty, why don't you take some WK5R KM5QS? KM5QS WK5R. Yeah, I copied everything Steve said up there. Anyway, this is WK5R with a Boat Anchors Unlimited net. <coughs> Clear my throat there. I'm running a I'm running a modern rig. I don't have a Boat Anchor that I can run on the net right now. 
This is the team Kenwood CS590F, not the SG. Microphone is an Audio Technica AT25, uh, 2035. It's a uh, large uh, diaphragm condenser type uh, broadcast studio mic. I'm driving a Homebrew GS35 uh, B amplifier at uh, about 1300 right now. It's a homebrew fan dipole up about 50 feet. That's what I got going on here. So, uh, who else is out there for the Bone Anchors Unlimited? Come now. Whiskey Bravo 5, Charlie Papa Kilo. Ooh, I hope nobody got hurt in that train wreck. Y'all gonna have to slow down a little bit and try it again. Whiskey Bravo 5, Charlie Papa Kilo. Okay, I got Whiskey Bravo 5, Charlie Papa Kilo. Go ahead. City, Nebraska. Okay, the Nebraska station, stand by. Uh, Charlie Papakito, go ahead. Yeah, good evening. Uh, this is Jim and Victoria, WB5CPK. And we're on a Collins uh, 32S1 transmitter and a 75S3 receiver. And the transmitter is powered by Heathkit HP23. So, first time we've really had this thing on the air. Had a lot of problems with it and... Uh, Worked on it, but had to, you know, I'll go and get some help. So, anyway, seems to be working. Uh, appreciate you checking me in. WB5CPK in Victoria. Okay. Well, the college station is working out fine for you there, and sounds like uh, the heat kit fire slide is doing its job there. Okay. There was a, another station in Nebraska. Go ahead. Well, maybe I lost him. Okay, who else for the boat anchors unlimited come now? <laughs> I heard something, but I couldn't make it out. Try it again. Bravo five. Uh, okay, with a kilo Bravo five, something in it and golf. It sounds like it got a little RF, but go ahead. <laughs> Check your grounds. Yeah, you got RF and you're dropping out there. I, I don't know what's going on. Sound like a bad mic ground. Rocky, I copied, uh, I mean, Rusty, I copied Sierra Quebec Golf. <clears throat> okay, I appreciate that. But it's breaking up real bad now. That's your SKB5S2G. It's just any better, Okay, I got the uh, W5SQG. Uh, go ahead. I apologize. I don't know if you're going to be able to get something Anyway, I'm going to jump in here. Hello. Hopefully, I'll fix the armor on here. Uh, he and I have done some uh, radio business in this one of his radios. And uh, hopefully, he's listening to it. And also, my friend KK5L2 Kelsey. And uh, my name is Bob. And I'm here in Granbury, Texas. on a CS820. Yeah, PK820S, unit. And that's all I've got here for the boat. 85, that's 2G. Okay. Over there in Granbury, uh, on the uh, uh, the 820. Uh, okay, what? I bet you you're touching the microphone there if you're using an MC50 or an MC60. Uh, what you might need to do is ground pin 7 and 8, and then run a little wire to the shell so that it grounds to the... Uh, uh, the mic testing input on the the rig that might stop it. <clears throat> Appreciate you checking in. Anyway, we got you. Rusty, right, who's next for the boat anchors unlimited? Come now. Rusty. Yes. Yeah. Real. Uh, if he's on a eight twenty, that's a four pin plug. Oh, okay. You're right. It is a four pin plug. Uh, sorry about that. Still could be a mic round. I'm sorry. Go ahead and pick Bob up. Yeah, still could be. All right. Who's next for the Boat Anchors Unlimited? Come now. WA5DSS. Uh, WA5, was that Delta Sierra Sierra? Uh, Roger. Go ahead. Yeah, this is WA5DSS, Bill Kerrville. Uh, we're running a... KWM2 and a 30L1M, and have a, uh, a inverted V dipole up about 35 feet. 
Okay, Colin, the station there is uh, it's sounding okay. We do have a little noise, but it's doing it. All right, who's next for the boat? I can find Larry. Uh, Larry, 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 Larry,
<laughs> okay, Bob. Alrighty. Well, it never hurts. This this would be the crowd to mention that to. Uh, and I'll I'll mention it again. Although your signal, like Glenn was saying, everybody's signal's good tonight, for the most part. And uh, but uh, folks, Bob is still looking for a decent cosmetics front panel, front face plate for a Drake 2B. Um, he's got a good rig. It works good. It just looks like somebody drug the face plate behind a truck. So he. He'd like to find a uh, something that looks a little nicer to put on the front of it. If you got a junk one laying around, he'd love, probably love to talk to you about it. His faceplate looks good. Um, so look him up, KA5CXG, and um, see what you can do. And all right, that being said, anybody else for the Bone Anchors Unlimited night come out? I think we may have done it. Uh, well, folks, and I'm going to pass it back to Rusty here in just a second. But before I do, you know, I've got to, I've got to jawbone y'all a little bit about Belton coming up. We'll be there with the pit. You've already heard me say that tonight. Um, and we're going to be there, and we're going to be having a good time, and, and I want everybody else to have a good time. So bring a piece of meat uh, or bring some... Um, I don't know, whatever you want to cook. Don't much matter. We can generally cook most anything you show up with, as long as it's normal. Um, you know, possums, raccoons, rattlesnakes. Uh, there's a place for that, but it's not really in our wheelhouse. But venison, sausage, uh, chicken, uh, pork butt, brisket, you know, whatever, whatever you feel like. Um, and can afford these days, bring it on down and we'll cook it up and everybody will have a good time. It's a participatory thing for those of y'all that don't know and I can't imagine there's anybody out there that hadn't heard me rag around my lawn about this for a while. Um, but this is a, it, it's a camaraderie type thing. It's like fellowship dinner at the Methodist Church on Wednesday nights. Everybody shows up, everybody brings something. Everybody contributes because we, it's something that one or two people can't do by themselves. We don't do this for hire. This is not a commercial business. This is simply a uh, meeting, uh, camaraderie, uh, I think I said that already, and, and um, everybody participates. Everybody has a great time. We eat, drink, and be merry within reason. And... Um, <laughs> and then you get to set the terms of that reason. So y'all come on down and have a great time. October 1st and 2nd, exit 292 off Interstate 35 at the Bell County Exposition Center. And we're going to have a really good time. Um, thanks to everybody that participated tonight. Scott, if you're still listening, and I know you are. If you can make it down here, that sure be great. You probably can't, but I hope you can. It's been a long, long time. And uh, anybody else out there, come on down. We'd love to see you. Rusty, wrap it up. KM5QS. KM5QS, WK5. All right, uh, Jay. Appreciate it. Uh, as, uh, so this is going to be the last call. Is there anybody else out there we haven't talked to yet who wants to get in here before we shut the net down? Come now. One more time. Last call. Anybody anywhere wants to check in the Bowlegs Unlimited net before we shut her down? Come now. Well, I believe we've done it. I hear the West Coasters cranking up, so uh, this is uh, WK5R with the Bowlegs Unlimited net. We appreciate everybody checking in. With myself, Jay, and then we all know what it takes to keep these things on the air and keep them going. So we'll look for you next week, and sure, look for everybody at Belton. This is WK5R with the Boat Anchors Unlimited Net, now closing the net and returning the frequency to normal amateur abuse.